So this is Midnight. He's one of the kittens in our care right now. And um, this little cute guy um, tested positive for something called FELV or feline leukemia virus, which it's a contagious virus that's spread between cats. It's specific to kitties. It can definitely cause issues in our cats. Um, some cats that are infected have a shortened lifespan because they um, experience um, a disrupted immune system and can develop certain cancers or other serious um, illness. Um, but a lot of cats that test positive for this virus actually go on to live a really good and pretty normal um, length and quality of life. Um, here at Seattle Humane, we do adopt out um, feline leukemia virus positive kitties. It's they make really great pets. Um, there's just a few things to think about and consider before you um, take one home. The first is if you have other cats at home, um, you wanna make sure that they are fully up to date and well vaccinated against the FELV vaccine. If not, you probably don't wanna adopt an FELV kitty since we know it is contagious and can spread. If you adopt an FELV positive kitty, um, we recommend they stay indoors, so no trips outside, and um, you just wanna make sure they go into the vet for routine wellness care and keep them up to date on vaccines and anything else that your veterinarian recommends in terms of um, preventative wellness care just to keep them as healthy as possible and um, minimize any potential for um, FELV infection related issues. Mm -hmm. So you'd look out for things like a decreased appetite or um, you know, just anything that's just out of the norm. So vomiting or diarrhea or just just any sort of behavior that doesn't seem normal for your kitty, um, you would want to call your vet up and maybe set up an appointment just to make sure that things are okay. And kitties that um, are suspected to be regressively infected usually do pretty well and um, often don't, don't ever have um, secondary problems. Sometimes they still will and they still do. Um, and a progressively infected kitty cat um, it's more likely to have those issues that we're talking about where, you know, they may only live for a few years before they um, ultimately become pretty ill and pretty sick, but even those cats sometimes can really go on and, and, and live for quite a while um, without having any issues. So it depends on the cat and it depends on whether or not we think they're a progressively infected kitty cat or if they've got a regressive infection. And, um, there's a, more information in our waivers about how we determine which of those we think they have.